We're just two days away from Saturday's walk, and in honor of Denise Desenzo, we are highlighting another amazing person who suffers from a rare disease. And today we're bringing you a seven-year-old boy who is shining a light on everyone he meets. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski has more. Christian is a seven-year-old boy. He lives here in New Hartford with his four siblings and his parents. But he's battling a serious rare disease. And his parents tell me, of course, every day with him is a major blessing, but there are still some hurdles and obstacles they have to get through daily. You got this. We're outside. Yeah. One of a kind. Since the day he was born, his mother knew something wasn't right. Within the first 24 hours of him being born, I noticed his body um, really tensing and um, turning in ways that would be abnormal for an infant. Christian was diagnosed with Odahara syndrome, a rare form of epilepsy that's paired with KCNQ2, a genetic mutation, causing multiple seizures a day, along with developmental and cognitive delays. He needs 24-hour care. That affects, you know, Christian, um, um, as far as physically, um, as far as cognitively, um, and, you know, his, his seizures will be um, pervasive throughout his life. Christian and his twin brother are the youngest of five. Our running joke in this family is that Connor, his twin brother, absorbed all of his verboseness, all of his physical running skills, oh. all of his language ability. His parents, Erica and Edward Mum, have spent these last seven years navigating the unique journey of having a child with a rare disease. In the beginning, we just accepted it and understood right away that this is going to be a difficult process, but yet a manageable process. Overcoming the traumatic first days and months, now celebrating every moment, big or small. Seeing some of the advancements and some of the things that he is capable of doing, um, even though on a small scale, is, is a huge thing for us as parents. And it brings us a lot of joy to, to see that. The entire mom family has learned to embrace the ups and downs. What they once knew is no longer. But they know they're not alone while navigating these challenges. You are rare, you are one of a kind, and it can be lonely when you open up the lens and you see how many of, of us um, live with rare disease every day. Collectively, we are a very, very large group, and that is what we celebrate when we do Denise's walk. In New Hartford, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Oh, what a special story, Eliza. Thank you. By the way, we do hope to see everyone this weekend. The Denise DeCenso Foundation hosting a walk to fight rare diseases coming up Saturday at 10 in the morning. You can join us in person for a two-mile walk on the campus of Quinnipiac, or you can walk virtually in your own neighborhood. The link to register is on the WFSB app or our website.